Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy and excited to be sitting in front of this camera actually filming a video for you guys. I haven't been back, well I haven't been on YouTube in like two months. Girl, a lot has happened. Girl or boy, a lot has happened. I am here to do a chit chat, get rid of me with you guys to let you guys know why I've been gone, what I've been doing, and just yeah girl everything i'm here to catch y'all up i really didn't want to just pop back up on youtube like hey guys like i wanted to give a formal introduction you know explain to you guys why i've been gone because you know you guys hold me accountable like when i see a new comment on my video i'm like damn i need to film damn i need to film so i'm back you guys are new here my name is taj welcome to my channel on this channel we do nursing beauty and lifestyle content if you are interested in any of those remember to subscribe down below and if you are an oldie but a goodie welcome back to my channel i am so sorry for being gone for so long but i am back i feel refreshed i feel renewed and i'm ready to get back into the game she's in love with who i am Back in high school, I used to bust it to the dance. Yeah. Now I hit the FBO with duffels in my hands. I did half a sand, 13 hours till I land. Have me out like a light. I have already moisturized my face with this e.l.f. happy hydration and I'm gonna be looking down I have all my makeup down here so I'm gonna be looking down and I'm just gonna talk with you guys I honestly do not have a script for this I try to write things down before I film but I don't have a I don't have anything to be honest so we're just gonna be winging it okay so I moisturized my face with the happy hydration by e.l.f. I really love this um this is like my third time using it. It does make my face feel super, super moisturized. So, how have y'all been? Everything that I'm gonna be using is gonna be down in the description below, but I just wanna be, I just wanna talk to you guys and just like try to catch up, cause, oh, I don't like that hair right there. Really been a long time since I've been on YouTube. Definitely a lot has changed in my life. These past couple months, uh, just like at the start of New Year's has literally been a game changer, to be honest. I'm actually gonna do my eyebrows and I'm gonna come back on camera because I don't wanna be looking down. So I finished doing my eyebrows. To be honest, how I've been doing my eyebrows lately is just like super minimalistic. I've just been putting some concealer under it while brushing my hairs up and putting some concealer. I really don't do much. Yeah, it's gonna be a cute little, oh, where's my beauty blender? I'm gonna be listing everything down below so I don't have to keep interrupting myself and telling you guys the products. But I just wanted to start by one, just like apologizing because I have an MIA from YouTube. I was MIA from Instagram for a long time and that's not good. I feel like I wanted to be more involved with like social media and YouTube and stuff like that, especially with like my nursing going on. But as I was breaking down to you guys before, fourth semester was just so challenging. And additionally to that, when the new, after I graduated and the new year began, it was crazy. So I, I listed out my goals and I made my vision board. Um, I'm not sure if I'm the only one that experiences this, but I got extreme anxiety. When this new year came around specifically, I got like extreme anxiety. I was super anxious. And I think that I was more so anxious because I just listed out all these goals for myself which are obviously achievable but just putting too much on your plate at once so i separated them I'm, i think i talked about this but i started separating them into quarters instead of instead of having like complete yearly goals um and i feel like that decreased my anxiety a lot because when i'm telling you i was anxious like i was crying i actually had like a really good new year's but once like january started settling in i started seeing in myself that i was having like a lot of anxiety i was crying i just i was questioning myself and just like my abilities and you know after you graduate nursing school the next challenge for you is the nclex so i was also super worried about the nclex 
girl just a lot for you graduate nursing school you have to take the NCLEX like period well it's not you don't have to but you don't have to take the NCLEX but that's what the next big goal is for you to pass the NCLEX and get a job and get in so I was in that period of my life for like the past two months and just additionally to like every everything else that was happening it was just a lot I had that extreme anxiety and it was just kind of crippling in a way I graduated in December and I didn't start studying for the NCLEX until like February something and the crazy part is my test was like in the middle in the middle of February so I was I was not entirely prepared at all. I kept having to switch my dates because I was just so scared that I was gonna fail the test. Um, and thankfully I did. Um, I really had a lot of grace with myself during this time because it was just a hard, it was just a hard time. I know that a lot of nursing students go through this, like that stress after graduating because, you know, like you completed one thing and then it's just like, now it's like five more things that you have to do plus i'm taking my bsn classes started my bsn classes in january and it's just been a lot balancing all of those things together trying to balance like studying for my tech for my NCLEX, and doing four bsn classes at the same time so basically i'm taking my bachelor's of science in nursing and usually after you take your associates you go on to your bachelor's and the bachelor's just has a lot of busy work it's not even <laughs> it's not like your associates when you have clinicals and all these other things it's literally essays powerpoints stuff like that um so it was a lot studying and trying to balance those classes and just with life in general because you want to celebrate yourself graduating but it's like you can't even do that i had a lot of breakdowns <laughs> i had a lot of breakdowns and i'm just so thankful for the people that are with me and here with me in this time of my life so january is just basically studying for my test doing my bsn classes and just trying to live my life to be honest because i just graduated like i just graduated um nursing school like I wanted to celebrate myself. February rolls around and I take my NCLEX. Um, and I got <laughs> A video is going to be coming soon of how I studied for my NCLEX and how I passed because, girl, I was basically not really studying at all in January. I had to change my test date so many times because I just felt unprepared. I'm going to do like a whole detailed video for you guys on how I studied because thank God I passed. Like, Honestly, if I didn't pass, I don't know what I would be doing. I'd probably be like sad or something. So I passed my NCLEX and I'm still in this kind of like funk. Like I don't feel, you know, I just don't feel well because I wasn't feeling emotionally, mentally and spiritually well. I'm not accomplishing the goals that I had set out for myself. I just didn't feel like up for it, if that makes sense. Like, to get up, to be productive, to even like work out, like I just was not feeling it. And thank God I'm out of that right now. I And I looked a ratchet mess, like let's just be honest, like I was not looking okay, okay? I was looking very, very busted. So I could not see, and I didn't have like the urge or anything to get pretty or get myself ready or, anything like that it was just it was crazy and i'm just so happy that i'm out of that situation and out of those feelings and now because it was a scary point for me i'm not gonna lie check on your friends okay check on your friends check if they're good and you check on yourself really do your own little evaluation self-evaluation of how you're doing because it's vital i already had a job at a hospital so I was thinking, okay, boom, like I could just transfer up in this hospital. Like that's fine. Cause as you guys know, I'm not sure if you're if you guys are new here, I have been an LPN for about five years. So I have an LPN job at a hospital. So I was just like, ooh, maybe I can just like transfer up my position here. Girl tell me how they never accepted my application. Um yeah. And that's okay, you know? Maybe they didn't want to level me up to an RN. They liked me as an LPN. But I just knew I had, you know, other stuff to do. Like I had 
my other blessings to go get. I continued job searching after I realized that they weren't going to accept my application. And guess what guys, I got my dream job. Like I'm so excited. Like I'm not going to tell you guys yet, you guys are going to find out in a vlog, but I got, it's going to probably be a vlog after this one, but I got my dream job and I'm starting on Monday and I just cannot wait to just like share this with you guys and just like share my journey with you guys i am really just blessed and excited this is a job that i've always wanted to be honest it was on my vision well it wasn't on this vision board but it was on my vision board when i started nursing school i would always talk about it to my friends and family but then i don't know i just always got discouraged because i was like it's a it's a really elite and really sought after specialty so i was like damn they're probably not gonna accept me like as a new grad da -da -da -da. like just they, just having like a lot of self doubt in myself like even though i had prior nursing experience even though i had prior nursing experience i was not sure if they were gonna accept me still so i was just super nervous and super scared but i ended up landing the position so let me tell you guys how i landed the position I literally like let me like literally so let me set the scene let me set the scene let me set the ambiance it was a Wednesday and I'm on their website and I'm applying to the position that I want right and then and then I see that they had a job fair that same day is it a job fair I'm not sure if that was a job fair not a job it wasn't a job fair it was a okay we're just gonna call it a job there so i was looking online as i was applying and i saw that they were having like a little job there or whatever girl tell me how the job fair started at like nine and ended at like three and when i looked at the post it was like 8 30. i said oh guess who's about to get ready baby so i took my happy tail down there got i got ready took my happy tail down there and i went for the interview and when i went for the interview i landed the position like at that same exact time the lady was like yeah we want you I was like you're gonna be a good fit on the unit and the next day i was getting my offer letter and my offer i was like if this is not god i'm not sure what is sweetie literally i am very thankful that they didn't accept my application now because i would probably be working on that unit being annoyed and um yeah <laughs> because message is not the place that i want to be like it's not my you know it's i don't see myself as a med surge nurse like i just don't so i would probably be i would probably be in misery um <laughs> working on that unit but I was willing to do it just to get my experience and my foot in the door but now I landed my dream job <laughs> I cannot wait to tell you guys where it is can you leave your leave your guesses down below where I'm gonna be working ah! or what unit I'm gonna be working you guys are gonna be like what and I, and I have a picture. I'm not sure if I still have it on my phone. I had a picture. I wrote down my goals for my career. And I said, I wrote down when I wanted to graduate nursing school. What unit I wanted to work on and how much I wanted to make. And tell me how all those goals got accomplished. Like every everything that I wrote down, like to the T, is what... Is what my life is right now like is what my career is right now and I've never really been the type of person to manifest I've always you know just prayed to God about certain things but to me those things are the same thing manifesting praying to God like for me that's how I manifest sweetie I I, I, I send a prayer above okay I got my dream job <laughs> I cannot wait to share with you guys where I am working and just like vlog and really just get to show like a different perspective because I don't when I search this specialty up on YouTube I do not see a lot of videos I'm not gonna lie like I don't see a lot of videos and I'm, I'm not saying that it concerns me but I'm just like 
wow, like, like why don't y'all um, talk about this? I don't know why, but. So yeah, I'm excited. I am really excited. I, as I was saying before, I start on Monday and it's just gonna be great. Oh my gosh, my nose is running. Honestly guys, I'm just so thankful of just God just keeping his hand on me and just like continuing to lead me into the path that I'm supposed to be on because honestly, my steps and my life is literally ordained. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like, it is literally God, literally helping me, like, accomplish those goals without me, with literally without me lifting a finger. I feel like that job just showed me, like, not to force things in my life. Like, if it's for you, it's gonna be for you, okay? It's not gonna be for anybody else because God put his hand on it for you. So, ain't nobody could take that away from you, you know? So I'm just so happy. I'm so happy and excited to just be taking you guys along for this journey with me. I do want to be more active on my YouTube and I am going to be more active. I know I keep telling you guys that, but literally life is lifing in the most interesting way possible. And it's like, I can't slow it down. And it's like, I can't adjust. And I'm just like, like I'm doing a little kid. Like, oh, whoa, oh, like that's literally me. Hey on a daily basis i do not have it together i am i am still learning i'm still growing <laughs> and that is really what my youtube and my social media i really want to portray like like let's grow together actually grow together like let's experience together instead of just me coming and telling you guys this this that like let's actually grow together and that's why i want to start doing more vlogs because i feel like they're just more personal and we can actually talk and get to know each other and relate. So I'm just gonna try to finish my makeup and I'm going to finish my makeup and I kind of like pulled my curls out. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my chit chat get ready with me. A lot has happened over this past two months, but I'm just very, very happy to be back singing for this camera on YouTube with you guys. Honey, I'm coming back for fours, okay? I'm coming back on y'all, okay? Okay. I honestly love you guys so much. I see your guys' comments all the time and just like your continuous support if you are new here don't forget to subscribe for more content and follow my instagram i'm usually more active on my instagram than on youtube to be honest i'm always posting on my story i am so excited to be back so excited to be taking you on this journey with me thank you guys for tuning into my video and coming back I love you guys so much and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video.